Okay guys, so welcome to another part uh, and yeah, in this part we will export it to Substance, so uh, go out to layout mode again. Let's select this shotgun low and uh, We can also first maybe let's change the name of the material so We want to change it to shotgun Matt and uh, let's go to UV editing for a bit, not UV editing to shading, and we just want to delete this uh, image texture that is connected to principle to BSDF because we don't want that to be exported also. So just delete it, and now we can actually select this mesh and let's click export FBX. Uh, I already have it here, so let's go with Pump Shotgun Low And yeah, click on selected object, so only selected object will be uh, exported and tick this one So you have a Correct scale and here in apply scale just click FBX all And click export and now we can hide this one. Let's uh, unhide uh, shotgun high and let's export this also. So click export as FBX and let's do the same. It's already done. Uh, here let's change the name to high with the small letter. And this name should match this part. So let's click export to save it. And uh, yeah, let's uh, move to, to to Substance Painter. So I will uh, skip to, to Substance Painter part. Bye. Okay, guys. So here we are in Substance Painter, and uh, I hope you watched my uh, previous tutorial on Substance, so you understand the basics. So yeah, you can start texturing this and uh, yeah, this will be I think exporting part. So let's uh, go to new, let's click on file select and we can select our pump shotgun low. The document resolution 2K is okay. and. Uh, Let's add the normal that we created. So it is called normal and click OK. And now here you should have your pump shotgun. Uh, yeah, pump shotgun. And let's go to texture sets. So we have this, our shotgun material name that we created and let's go to texture set settings and we can add uh, an ambient occlusion here so click on plus click ambient occlusion and uh, we can bake mesh maps now so click on bake mesh maps and we want to bake normal uh, workspace normal id no because we don't have any ID and uh, we will make our own ID so don't worry uh, make, uh, I don't know if I explained it but uh, ID is basically uh, marking the the parts which are different so for example uh, this part is wooden and also this one is wood so we would, we would have uh, one ID for this wooden part and the second ID for the metal parts but we will uh, separate them manually and uh, yeah so that's why we uncheck that and tick that so uh, we can leave everything uh, uh, checked because we will need this everything so let's click to normal part now uh, to, to common part sorry and we have to add this uh, high poly mesh that we created so click here to search for that uh, model and it is called here shotgun high 
and as you can see if you scroll down you can see that this program will search uh, for the mesh with the name that uh, is suffix is floor high and low poly is floor low and that's why we had to name them that way and uh, yeah the resolution is the same as in blender so 0 0.01 is okay because we uh, checked that before and let's click bake shotgun mat mesh maps and let's wait so this will take Okay guys, so here we should have our yeah, normals baked down and uh, it's looking okay, it's looking nice and uh, I don't know what is the problem here but I think something is wrong <laughs> around here because it's darker area but uh, don't worry, we will cover it with the with the textures and also I think maybe it's ambient occlusion but we'll see so uh, yeah everything is baked correctly and let's start uh, texturing in the next part so see you guys there uh, but first let's say uh, let's save save this substance painter file and let's call it shotgun tutorial okay so let's yeah let's texture texture in the next so see you guys in the next one bye bye